Hey guys, you're watching Get To Know Me on KTV. My name is Noelle Dixon. I got married, so now my name is Noelle Williams. I'm a Williams now, and I live in North Carolina. I am from the DMV area though. Um, I went to community college there. I grew up there, I was born there. Um, but my husband is in the military, so we move a lot. So I am here in North Carolina. What I wanted to be in life. I always imagine myself to be a, um, a newscaster. Yes, I always wanted to be a newscaster. Before I was crawling, I just knew. I knew I either wanted to be a model or a newscaster. I knew that's what I wanted to do. I knew my name was gonna be somewhere in some lights. I knew I was gonna be a newscaster. I was gonna be on somebody's TV. That's what I knew. So, um, Kingdom TV is how it got started. Uh, I went to Ashford University. I graduated in February. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was very excited about that. But while I was in school, um, I called around to different places such as, um, okay, I don't, I don't wanna mention any names, but I don't know if it's gonna come back and bite me in the butt later. So I'm just gonna say, I called around to the radio, sta not radio stations, cause I used to work at, shout out to 104.5, cause I used to work there. Um, shout out to uh, um, Kev at 104.5, shout out to Lisa. Shout out to uh, everybody over there, everybody. So um, yes, I wanted to call all the radio, not radio stations, why do I keep hearing radio stations? I called all the um, top, not top and regular local uh, news stations to try to get an internship, which I wasn't able to do. Um, I went back and forth on email with the lady. I thought she was gonna give me an opportunity, but she didn't. Um, most people, majority of the company's news stations, they give it to college students who, uh, it's accredited for, you know, like if you do it, it's worth credits. My situation wasn't like that. Ashford, they don't do that. So of course an opportunity for me is fiddled away. But it's okay, cause I made my own opportunity. Kingdom TV, hey, here it is. I, uh, Working at the radio station, I thought, um, I don't know, that was like a little taste of the industry, a little taste. I was like, oh, I like this. I really like this. And I already want to work at news stations. And it was this girl there, uh, Lisa. Um, shout out Lisa. Uh, Lisa Debonair, y'all check her out. Yes, yeah, she is amazing. Oh, that girl is such a hard worker. Like that girl, she inspired me like to go for it, like go for it, you know? So, um, Shout out to you, girl. And she's out there doing her thing, I think in Florida. So y'all check her out. So working at the radio station, it really inspired me to just go for it. Um, I had all these ideas in my head, but I didn't know quite how to achieve them. So I was like, okay, so how can I do this idea? I know I wanna do this idea. And I was even talking like, okay, well, I can go buy a camera and interview all my clients. Cause I was the sales representative, um, sales accountant at um, accounts account executive at 104 so I was like what I could do is I can do behind the scenes at the station and I can interview my clients about their businesses you know I was on a roll thinking of all these ideas but I just never did it and um, long story short I stopped working at 104 um, had a baby uh, Joshua he's my life um, and uh, it, it just I kind of lost myself I got lost in everything that was going on and then um, I took a trip up to Maryland uh, to visit family members with, with my husband and my, uh, my baby. And um, my sister-in-law, her husband's father, he was taking pictures for us. And he was setting up his equipment and stuff like that. And I was asking him questions, like where'd you get your equipment from? What's the best type of camera? Everything like that. And um, I told him what I wanted to do. And he was like, you should do it, do it. You know, well, what's stopping you? And I was like, you know what? I don't know, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna do it. So I was very much inspired. Um, and that's all it takes is a little bit of inspiration. Like, you know what they say? It only takes a, a mustard seed. They are right, just a little bit of faith. And um, the thought that you could do it, and you could do it. I'm so serious, I'm so serious. Cause people think all the time, no, you need this. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I did have to pay some bread. So um, it, it is an investment. I Like I had to pay for the backdrop, these lights, the camera, the tripod. Um, uh, what the, the little stuff that I use back, virtual backgrounds and stuff so I did have to pay money of course you know but you get in what you put out and um, I wanted a for sure legit project project I wanted a um, product that was marketable I wanted people to see me and be like 
oh, she wants this. Like, this is what she wants. And, and I do, I want this. Um, and I tell anybody who wants to be, um, uh, do it, do this, um, I would say go for it with everything you can. Don't just do mediocre. Because I did research, I looked on YouTube and everything like that. And I was like, I just don't want to be a YouTuber. I want my product to stand out from every other YouTuber. I want it to be great. I want it to be good, like awesome. People see it and be like, oh snap, look what she doing. Like she really wants this. Yes, I do, hire me. <laughs> you know, so um, this is my platform. I want people to see this and be like, yes, I want to hire her. Cause I know she can do the job and I know she wants the job and I know she's going to work hard for this job and she's going to do the job. So if you're out there, Hey, this is my platform. Hire me. But um, anyway, uh, back to Kingdom TV. Where do I see myself in the next five years? Well, I see myself a captain in the army, the army reserves. Um, Kingdom TV, I wanted to have over a million followers, um, people subscribing, liking, um, enjoying the information that I'm putting out there. Um, I also would like to be a news anchor on ABC. I would like that. No, not ABC, CBS. I would love to meet Gail, Charlie, and um, Nora on CBS this morning. I watch that every morning. I would love that. What I want from Kingdom TV, like I said, I want people to take me seriously. I want people to see Kingdom TV not as um, entertainment or um, just getting little tips here and there. Uh, I want people to see this as um, motivating. Um, I want people to see this as a passion product. You know, like if you have something you want to go for in life, do it. Don't just not do it, you know, do it. Like if, if you want it, go for it. Invest in yourself. I think that's the best way I can put it is invest in yourself. Um, I don't know. I just want to be successful and I want to show other people that you can be successful if you are persistent and you go for what you want um, and you invest in yourself. That's the biggest thing. Invest, invest, invest in yourself. Uh, what I mean by that is putting in the time, the money, um, putting in the drive, the motivation, the thoughts, the ideas. This is not an overnight project. This is something that I've been thinking on. And by the time you guys actually see this project put together, um, it would have been tons of hours, tons of footage that I recorded and edited and put into this project before you guys even see it. Um, a lot of stuff goes behind, goes on behind the scenes. It's not just a um, overnight thing. It's really not. I'm just not recording myself and then uploading it. It's not, it don't work like that. Um, for this platform that I want to do because of course I want a job out of this. I want to be on um, a ABC, CBS, uh, Fox. I, I want to be on television um, doing news. So this is definitely a platform that I want to take seriously and I want others to take me seriously. So I would say invest in yourself. And success is what everybody wants. I know that. Um, but success is not always determined by money it's not always monetary success to me is um my family's happy i'm happy we're living comfortable and um so far god has been very good to me and my family um god is amazing god is my homie yes he is um i might make a t-shirt out of that god is my homie i think they already have one i don't know but yes god is very um merciful and graceful and God is everything to me. I don't even think that I could have done this without him because Kingdom TV is about him. Um, it's about me knowing God and being able to read scriptures and give it to the public. Um, for people who don't read, I, I know, um, they got daily breads out there. You know those little quick scriptures you can read and stuff like that, but most people don't know about daily breads and if they do, they don't subscribe to them or have them. So if you have Kingdom TV, you know, Kingdom TV is about what, four minutes, three or four minutes. And you know, at the end of each episode is gonna be a Kingdom scripture that you can be like, oh, God said this. Oh, okay, let me write that down and I'll just take that with me. So um, I'm definitely thankful that, and grateful that I can incorporate the word in my show. 
I like that. Cause without him, this show would not be here. It's Kingdom TV. Like, you don't get no more descriptive than that. It's Kingdom TV. It's God's TV. So um, everything on here, I say it won't be perfect. It will not be perfect. I can guarantee you that. But it will be something that I got from God and I wanted to share with you. So my views on God are not gonna be the same as yours, but I can guarantee you it's gonna be positive, it's gonna work, and it's it, it's gonna be true, it's gonna be real. You know, um, you may not agree, but I can guarantee that it, it'll be positive. It'll be very positive. Positivity, I love it. If you don't get anything out of Kingdom TV, I want you to get that God loves you and if you don't know him, get to know him. And I know people hear that all the time, like, what, you don't know God? No, I'm serious. If you don't know God, get to know him because he's already gotten to know you. So get to know him. He is awesome. He is amazing. Um, I think about the little things that he's done for me, like the food that I eat, the house that I live in, um, my marriage, my child, breathing. You know, this simple thing is breathing. God has done that. So if you don't know him, get to know him. If you can get anything from Kimi TV, get that. Um, God has a plan for you. You just have to trust him. And I hope that you will because I know I have. I have fully trusted God and put my life and my ideas and my passions and my cares all in his hands for him to help me. And I hope you do the same because it is well worth it. And, it, and it's not just a one way relationship. Um, I'm, I have to be obedient and I had to learn to be obedient to God. I couldn't just do what I wanted to do and expect for him to bless me because it doesn't work that way. Um, he does, he's not a punishing God, but he's also a God that wants you to do the right thing and, and not because, well, yeah, because he wants you to be obedient, not because you don't want to, because he don't care if you don't want to. You need to be obedient first and then he gonna fix your heart later. That's how it works. And I had to learn that because I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna forgive them because um, it's not on my heart to do and God wouldn't want me to do it if it's not meaningful. That's a lie. He wants you to be obedient first and be like, hey, um, neighbor, I don't like what you did, but I'm gonna forgive you because God wants me to and he's gonna work on me later, but I'm gonna forgive you right now. You know, that that's that's what he wants you to do. And if you read his word, um, it'll definitely teach you that. And I hope you can get that from Kingdom TV. This was Getting to Know Me, and I hope you guys enjoy. And make sure you guys check out Kingdom TV because it is my passion product, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So keep it locked right here on Kingdom TV.